Uh, good morning, and we are picking up in Acts chapter 6, verses 3 and 4. Therefore, brothers, pick out from among you seven men of good repute, full of the Holy Spirit and of wisdom, whom we will appoint to this duty. <clears throat> Wonderful way to solve a problem. They didn't throw the complainers out. They didn't divide uh, into two congregations. They didn't shun the unhappy people. They didn't formulate a committee and discuss the problem to death. They delegated and brought more people into doing the work of ministry. Meeting the unmet needs is a great way to bring people into ministry. Uh, number one, what will take care of the need? So we pick out seven, enough to meet the uh, ministry needs. And secondly, who will take care of the need? Those that are full of good report and uh, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom. Uh, ministry can only be carried out by those who are growing in their faith and have integrity. Uh, ministry cannot be carried out by those that are not uh, full of the Holy Spirit. They're distributing food. Well, what's the big deal? Um, they are not doing just the food distribution. They're solving a possible split in the church. And they must produce the fruit of the Spirit. Full of wisdom, a spiritual quality that deals with complainers. Uh, they look at the issue, attempt to solve the issue, and don't choose sides. Um, <clears throat> number four, verse four. Um, but we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the Word. Um, how important is it to have a prayer ministry? Uh, we understand the ministry of the Word, or really do we? Uh, a, com a prayer is a conduit in which the Holy Spirit travels through to affect people. When we speak without prayer, they become words, not agents for change. And I think this is vitally, vitally important. Ministry. Serving on a platter, deaconing. It's the idea that if, uh, you know, the word is the real issue here. And as they're serving the widows, they are also serving the word of God uh, through their speech, through their behavior. And it shouldn't overshadow um, the fact that spiritual food is what the people really needed. Satan, again, tries to get the church off track now for the choosing.